Okay, welcome to, we are in the studio today, and I am Whitney, I am a studio commission artist, and my specialty is buildings and homes, and we are here in Macon, Georgia, in the studio today, and we're going to be talking about canvases. This is going to be so much fun. So, um, think about like what kind of car you drive. Um, that's to an artist. That's what a a canvas is. And this is going to we is the canvas, uh, the stretcher boards. Um, I've got the tape measure. I've got a canvas that has been that I has how I store my paintings. Uh, it saves a lot of room. They're easy to work with, easy to ship. Um, that's that. These, so for about 300 years, I guess, or more, uh, we'll just jump right into it. How's everybody doing today? And, you know, I will check, uh, I'm going to check the messages. I'll check the messages and see if you guys have any questions. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and we'll, we'll go from there. But first, we'll talk about the, the canvas, the stretcher boards, and we'll do, we're going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this one into, uh, take this one and put, go ahead and put this one into storage. Uh, this, I don't sell these. I don't sell, I put the, these are stuff I do uh, in between. Uh, uh, I mean, you know, somebody might want it, but I usually don't. I don't advertise them, put stuff like that for sale. You know, when you do a, uh, one of those step by st if you might recognize this one and this I didn't put it didn't even put the trees in it because I just liked it I liked it the right just the way it was so first of all what I, one thing I want to do is take take the canvas off and I like to use I like to use these real real cheap canvases because they could turn into amazing expensive canvases and uh i'm going to show you how and it, it's going to be amazing so i'm going to take this apart and then talk about a little bit about the canvas structure and how it's put together and how you how you stretch the canvas and when and where and what to staple and how to do all that and again all of this and any of this is up to all of your interpretation, how you feel, what you do. Um, you can make uh, pine. Uh, we'll see. Uh, there's di different types of wood. This looks like pine. Could be maple. Anything. This. This is. These. I wanted to show you. These are old canvases from a long time ago. These are from Italy. And they're probably at least a hundred years old or more, and the style hasn't changed. The way that canvases are put together uh, hasn't changed in quite some time because the the whole point and purpose of this design is over time, as the canvas expands and contracts from being transported to this museum to that museum to that gallery and this gallery and back and maybe in storage sometimes the these places don't keep the uh, 40 the 40 uh, 72 70 degrees 42 percent humidity or whatever that is and uh, so what would happen is just and also there's a lot of other things that <laughs> that happen so what you would do is if you see you would take a lot of the, the canvases will come with these um see how how well you can see where i'm at probably pretty good so you'll see on the this is what it looks like let me look over here Okay. Now this is what you would have at least two, four, six, eight. At least eight of these. You would use two per corner and slide them in there. 
This one is, was done, slide them in there like this, and it, it'll expand the frame while the canvas is still on there. And we're gonna do that at the end after we, we're gonna do this canvas right here so I can show you uh, how it's very nice to get everything square and, and as perfect as possible. And as we know, uh, nothing's perfect, but we can have some things, some things can be perfect. So here we go. And I like to, I'm using my paint bowl to put my staples in. And if you're interested, what I love the pictures that you guys post, and I want to do all of them. And I had such a hard time picking it. Well, I decided I'll do my first in studio episode, will be talking about the canvas and what's all involved. You guys that stretch your own canvases. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Do you guys, what, what's your favorite way to do it? And there's, there's a lot of different things we can talk about. I've got today, I've got uh, just, I've got standard duck cotton, which is the, the weave pattern in it. And it is not gessoed, so I like to put my own gesso on it. Uh, these gesso, these were probably gessoed with rabbit um, glue and <laughs> marble dust <laughs> or, or whatever uh whatever they used at the time <clears throat> which is amazing um i love uh the those paintings when now we have such technology and we always pretty much always have enjoyed things like machinery that makes our life so much easier this i love this staple puller this is a a nice handy thing and you guys I went to shout out to nice people of the world by the way shout out because I was a little bit frustrated sometimes I get frustrated and it's okay we have emotions we're human and what happened is I had to go get the I wanted to get the duck cotton I wanted to get so I could play with it and make some nice sketch canvases that I can uh, take with me anywhere and uh, uh, create and make beautiful art. And I'll be able to take uh, and store these anywhere. Uh, they will probably end up being shipped to India or uh, some somewhere. <laughs> who knows who knows where they'll end up uh, and we'll see it's it's fascinating I mean you never know like at what point you, you know as an artist we create art and it's out into the world so there's many there's uh, many people in in Italy that have my art that have some of the most beautiful art I've ever seen in my life and this is from actually having, oh man, walked through the Vatican um, was the most incredible experience I've ever had because their canvases, they're, and I'll show you this later. This is some of the larger uh, stretcher boards that we'll use. And what I've done here is I've shown you an example uh, sometimes these are about twice, two, about two times as big along as these, and they'll be, uh, s they could be framed this way over uh, on the wall. And I'll show you a little bit about how they're cut right here. So we'll get into that in just a second. And those are, they're actually wood, but they're huge canvases that depict a movie almost like a movie scene so when you stand in front of it you're just it's such a transporting experience that uh i was almost just i didn't know what uh visually over stimulated 
I guess. I almost missed the Sistine Chapel. I think I talked about that before. But if you're new, you're just joining us, uh, that's something that has, that has really made a dramatic uh, effect in my life, and it's changed you know, the way I think about art. You know, it's, it's such an amazing spiritual experience. You know, why, why we do it, why we do it, why I've done it, you know, my whole life, because that's something that has always, has always been a part of me. I don't know, a lot of my, a lot of family do it. I know that a lot of, a lot of people uh, love art, and for a good reason, for a very good reason. I want everyone, everyone to be an artist. I want everyone to enjoy the benefits of art, especially those people that maybe you feel like you're not an artist. You don't have to paint beautiful pictures to be an artist. You don't have to, um, you know, be super proficient and, you know, you're, they, I guess that would be a technician. Now, if you want to be a technician, there's jobs for that. And there's, there's things that you can do to, to support yourself. Ooh, there goes all of the... Oh, man. There's all the staples. Anyway, we're not... We don't worry about that. Everybody has their own decision. You... Okay. So, here we go. What I want to do is probably... You guys have some workshops... Once the once everybody, if you get COVID and then you don't have COVID anymore and COVID ain't a thing anymore, uh, then we'll get together. We'll do some workshops. We'll. What I'm thinking is, you guys that get these uh, these oh real cheapo Frank these real cheapo canvases, you're gonna find out how ridiculous they are when you paint on them after we do the workshop. And you bring the, your old canvas over that you got from Walmart. We'll take it all apart. And we'll square it up. And we'll put the, we'll square up the threads. So that the thread is even across the top and the bottom. And I'll use a small square. Or I have a bigger square. So that I can make sure that the stretcher boards are square. And there goes the Sharpie. Oh, and I'm jumping around all over the place, but hey, preview, flashback, uh, preview. This is some, something else, some of the tools that we'll go over. This is a big uh, hook screw that will go into this stretcher board here after it's cut. Uh, some things that I use mainly are just the staple gun and the staple remover. And I don't, I would put a little bit more staples in here. Um, I would always say, let's see, when I'm around, uh, the, I'll I always write everything on the back of it. And the, let me see. Let me go get that Sharpie. Put over here. Yeah. So each 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 painting I do, no matter what it is, it gets an inventory number. And this one's 971190. That way I know what I'm doing, how many I'm doing, and where they're going, and who's got them, and where what's going on with them. So most of the, my early career, I didn't keep up with where everything went, and it was more of a, wow, you know, I would just really just give it to you. And that was my career. You know, I just wanted beautiful things to be in the hands of people that really appreciate those things. And it, it wasn't about money, and I would... I just give it, to, I would give anyone any, anything that they really, really love and they want it. You know, that's what's important. Ultimately, that is my true desire. Now, I feel like this is part of a, a business. And what I would say is if you, if you support that, buy a painting. 
and that would help me be able to do more of this and I could put, do more workshops. And what we do, what I'm thinking is we could have one, two, three, four people and we'll make the canvas. We'll make the stretcher boards and the canvas. We'll cut the canvas and we'll leave. I like to, if you, if you make your painting, if you make your painting and you want to, it, sometimes over time it'll, it'll sag. I don't know if you have any, any art that does that in your home, you could take it down if it's old, if it's old art like that. If you have an old art collection that ha is, is over, maybe over two, three hundred years old, then what you want to do, you could, <laughs> I would, I mean, that's what it's for. And you, you could just take this and, and, and move, put them, move, uh, tap them in. I've got a, a little, uh, ooh, how to go get it? I had this little thing that I made just for that. And that's the, one of the benefits of having uh, some machine shop experience. And I will be right back. You didn't think about that. Well, okay, so it looks something like this. This was for the bigger ones, like this, but I had a little smaller one. Anyway, I don't do that as much, so, but I, we could. If you are interested in having a giant canvas like this one, um, you know, we can also make these. These have a lot of these. I have several, a lot of these. And this one is getting ready to go to the wood shop. As you can see, well, we'll go ahead and talk about that for a second, and then we'll get to we'll get to the canvas. And we can stretch it and put it on. So I don't know if you can see this pretty good. But basically, these these are all the areas that are cut out. All right, so if you imagine it this way, this would be a 45 degree angle. I hope you can see this. And then this would be, this angle would be cut out and this would be. That will be cut out all the way, all the way around, all the way around up to here. All that's cut out so that the wedges will go in there and it expands, it'll expand these, these out. These are the big ones, but with these kind of canvases, this isn't a huge deal, but it follows the traditional structure of how they are made. Okay. You can also, look at the look at the way that the ones actually are made here that we're going to do this is the walmart uh frame which i love because hey it's it's wood right it's wood um there's also real quick i wanted to talk about this too because I like to give my patrons the best possible quality that they are willing to pay for. 
So my opinion is that I would just a quick overview, I would look at the back of it. So if you look at the back of it, this is a really white, uh, white, white cotton. This is beautiful. It's wonderful. I love it. It's my favorite. This would be in the $500 range. And this canvas is from Walmart. And that, and you may, <laughs> you may be saying, well, what? <laughs> that makes no sense because you're not paying for the canvas. You're not paying for the, this. You're not paying for the staples or the wood or anything on it. You know, in that case, you're paying for the art. Now, if you want to go to the next level, there's a $1,200 canvas, which you still get the art, but it's better quality. And the art may turn out better. You know, it depends on exactly what you're looking for and why. That's important. Now, compared to this, you, have a, you want to go up another level? We've got the, some of the best quality canvases made. Uh, of course, it, goes, it skyrockets from there. So this would be the best one that I can offer uh, that you would probably be reasonable. <laughs> and you're not a museum or a gallery, but you want fine art and you want something special. Uh, this would be the $2,500 range, so it goes all the way from 500 to 1200 to 2500 as far as what are you paying for and why is it that much? Because it is, and that's why you're paying for the quality. So this, in this case, you're paying for the car. This is 500 1200 and 2500 and that just gives you an idea of the quality of it. Now, this could end up being 250000 I don't know. I mean, it depends on what goes on this side of it. That's where you're really going to, that's where you're going to be interested. Now, I guess the analogy would be if you had an incredible violin player that could play amazing music, he could pick up a violin from the uh, thrift shop and play it amazingly just as well as he could play a Stradivarius. So it's all how you look at it. It's what your opinion is. I, you know, I go for quality. I love, I would love to, and this is, this is the linen. This is Belgian linen. I'm almost positive. Um, you get the, all of these beautiful it, inside of it where you have the, you have a curve on, <clears throat> There's a round edge on this side of, the, of this stretcher board that will allow the canvas to stretch over. And if you rub it right here, rub the canvas on here enough, enough times, you're going to get that line where the, you get that line. I don't know if you've ever worked in a gallery, but they, they wipe the paintings off. They wipe the dust off the painting and if you press enough times hard enough it'll get a line you'll get a line right there um, these canvases have a huge gap between the the um, stretcher bar and the canvas so these that would be your best quality and again, I, who, what artist would not love to paint on these all the time? I would love to take these out. It's incredible, but you know, it just, it's not reasonable. So the Walmart canvas is the best way to go um, for, for, uh, for that. Now, again, if this is going, if it's a different, if it's something else, um, I think like for these, these the the very high quality you get what you pay for and there you go so a lot of times the art comes out better because it just feels better to paint on good quality so that's why i make my own so if you make your own and we'll have workshops you guys come over you know i'm thinking we'll we'll go you know just pay for the material or bring your own canvas um 
pay for the duck fabric or bring your own fabric. You know, um, I want to uh, interact with other artists in the community and get together and do uh, important things. And why is this important? <laughs> why is this important? Well, as you know, most artists um, have a story and art actually saved my life. I had, in the, when I was in the fifth grade, I had a teacher named Miss Howell at T.D. Tinsley. And we were obnoxious, I was obnoxious. And I felt like no one would pay attention, no one would listen. I was just a terrible troublemaker. And I would go home and draw all day, study, study and draw and practice because that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to be a, an artist. And, but I didn't know what an artist was, and I didn't know why. I didn't know what artists do and, or, or why they do it. But I studied, pretty, studied all of that whole life in the Washington Library and everything because of this teacher. And she noticed I was going to the principal's office just about every day, and I was doing something crazy. Um, I think I would make... Right, my turn to write the date on the chalkboard, and I would write uh, September the 85th, uh, 1342. You know, I thought it was funny, and the whole class thought it was a little crazy, and I would be off to the principal's office. Terrible. And, oh, I have to, at one time, tell you about the story that they locked me in the principal's office with a whole, a whole bunch of boxes of... Um, of those dental kits. Oh, that's a good story there. But, well, I'll, <laughs> I'll save that for the next time. So what we want to do is talk about the canvases. Oh, so we want to talk about Miss Howell real quick. So she, she kept me after class one day and asked me what I want to do. What do I want to be? And I said, well, I want to be a, either an archaeologist or an architect or an artist. And... She said, well, you can't be an artist, so you need to be either an architect <laughs> or an archaeologist. I'm like, why can't I be an artist? And she said, well, artists don't make money. I'm like, what do you mean? What are you talking about? She said, well, just trust me. You're, 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 you're one of the smart ones, and you need to do something important. In your <laughs> but whew, anyway, I think that was um, well-meaning. Well, well because she really showed me, really saved my life through art and showed me that it was, but most people consider it a hobby. Um, I know and I realize that that's the case. And a lot of, a lot of times, um, I think it may be just maybe education because a lot of these things are kept from the, you know, we don't, nobody wants, wants to know I mean how artists are constantly feeling like frauds and that's something that we need to work on and overcome because you know it's okay you're still producing something amazing and beautiful and original and that you know we need to support each other because you, you, uh, there's there's just too too much too much that we can do that needs to be done because you look and see what's done already. What's happening is amazing. Everybody, and I know everybody I've ever, I've talked to so far. And, you know, we're in the studio today because it's getting cold. It's getting cold weather. I don't like to be out in the cold weather. And not when I can be in here and I can start preparing and getting ready uh, to do all of the everything that I need to do with the paintings and we are I'm hoping let's see we are so next year we're gonna we're have we'll have this contest again we have the same contest this year we'll have another contest next year every year for artists and that's those are uh, it's not just a contest. It's not for a comp competition. 
as much as every one of the artists that have that entered into the Whitney Art Contest, I work with them and they're amazing. And because there's hundreds of thousands of artists all over the world that feel like they really don't have a voice and they're being controlled by whatever media outlet you know these things uh websites or whatever and those are those are great i don't have a problem with any of those in fact i would i would you know i'd recommend it if that's what you if that's what you like that's what you want to do and um and it's great i love to go to those any of those sites and just see all of the stuff that that I can get that I can put in in galleries and museums anywhere you know what we're looking for American artists that represent uh, America and there's so much art in the world that doesn't make sense and that's part of art you know you're supposed to have that you're supposed to have art because just because I don't think it makes sense doesn't mean that it doesn't make sense to someone else. And that's something that we have to live with. We have to live with our differences. Now, I'm different. I've always been different. I've always been, people have always said, Whitney, you're different. You're, you're kind of different. And I've always been that way. And so this here, this will be going into the archives. This is the Forest River. This was painted in June, on June 20th of 2020. And this is a step-by-step -step color by Felix. So this is a tutorial that you can do online on YouTube. And it's color, color by Felix. And I love to, if I know the artist, I will give you credit because you're amazing. And uh, there are some amazing artists here in Macon that are inspiring and uplifting. And those are the, those are the artists that make Macon great. And I guarantee you, those are the ones that are going to make it. And I would very much say I am the kind of person that I like to be around successful people. I love to be around people that are... that got it going on, that know what they're doing, know what they want to do, and, and uh, have a vision and a goal and a purpose that is ultimately not selfish. But ultimately, you want to take care of yourself. And if you're in, you know, if you're in a good position uh, to do that and be that kind of person, you can shine your light. And I guarantee you, I guarantee guarantee you there's going to be people out there that will want to shut you down and and stop you just because they hate the world and just because they wish they were never born and those are the kind of people that i really don't have to deal with anymore and sometimes you do <laughs> hey i don't mind i don't mind i've had to deal with them before and i can i can do it and we're all human beings and you know the worst you can do is kill me and i have been threatened two times for just maybe i, I you know it could be i you know i'm thinking that if i raise my hand or something in, in, in class because i know the answer i'm pretty stupid so i can't say i'm smart because if i raise my hand in class and say i know the answer Here's the answer, blah, 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 blah. Every single other person in class is going to automatically, all of a sudden, I hate Whitney. I hate that guy. Ugh. Now, if I was really smart, I wouldn't have said anything. But then I'm sitting there as a student, and then the teacher is saying, does anybody know? Does anybody know the answer? And I'm like, I better not say anything. So there's some things about life that I need to know. And I'm learning, you know, and some, some things about life, I may be 12 or 13 years old. 
And it's just the way it is. Now that I'm 50, I think I'm realizing that. I'm starting to see how much I don't know. And it's amazing. So I spend all my time, I spend so much time trying to study how to paint and color theory and uh, shadows and, and lines and forms. And look at this. This one doesn't even have the, yet. Yeah, this one didn't have a staple in it. This has two staples in it. This one has two staples in it. And it has a knot right there, which the knots are very difficult. Be careful. Really be careful with that. So here we have, I'm going to go ahead and put this together and stretch it. This have the, the canvases. If you get the kits, if you get the kits, then you'll just have the, you'll just have these. You'll, you'll have these. All right, so we'll put this together and see how it goes. So like I showed you, and I'm sure you can see, you'll, you can be able to find the pattern, but the reason it's made this way and the reason these were made that way, and if I repeat myself, I'm, I'm just going to repeat myself. So, and that's okay. Um, a lot of times, you, you know, as artists, I don't know if you've ever done this, but say you're painting the sky or something and you just keep painting it and just keep painting it and just keep painting it. And, you know, because that's a, it's a meditative process and that's okay. That's what art is and that's why we do it. It's, it saves lives, you know, it, it really does. And I've heard so many stories where, you know, somebody, if you get uh, some, something, when you get done with your painting, you're okay. I'm okay. I'm okay now. I can go on. <laughs> I can do my thing. These are so, these are antique and they're made the same way. Same principle. So we'll put these, when you put these together, just like that. And I'll put, these are 16 by 20. And you can make just about any size you want. So what I'll do is I will take, let me show you this. This is what I do. And I, I know you guys like to do your own thing. I like to do my own thing. We all like to do our own thing. And I'm going to be doing my own thing today. And we'll be doing our own thing. If you like to do your own thing, and along with other people that like to do their own thing, then let's, let's get together and all we'll do our own thing together. So this is actual gessoed material. This is uh, also a duck cotton canvas. This is triple layer gessoed. So this is actually ready to go. This was something that we could do, uh, put it together and paint on it, take it home and hang it. And what we'll do is uh, we will do gallery wrap, professional gallery wrap corners. Um, you guys would love that. Who doesn't? Hey, and you can do this at home. Do it at home. Uh, and, or right now, do it at home. Because we don't want anybody, we're not doing any workshops right now. We're not going to do, I didn't know what to think earlier. We're like, hey, you know, maybe, maybe this thing's going to settle down. But look, we don't want to encourage any more than absolutely necessary. All right, so if you'll notice too, I like the ones, the ones that have a little bump right here. So here's what I'll do, and I'll check the square of it uh, with the square, or I'll set it down like this, and I can see how, which way it needs to go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Very nice. And so if it's out of square, there's a lot of things you can do uh, to tell if it's out of square. Uh, if you use any kind of tape measure, and you can even use a string, uh, but what you want to do is check the distance between here, each corner, the same place at each corner. 
Uh, so I don't want to go from inside here to the outside. Well, I don't know. You could do that if you do it on each one. Uh, as long as it's the same spot. This is 22 and a half. And that's a little bit less than 22 and a half. So what I want to do is squeeze these two corners together. Boop, and that makes the, this distance smaller. So now I'm at a little less than 22 and a half. And here I'm at a little more than 22 and a half. All right, so I'm gonna have to now squeeze these two corners together. And you can see just right there, the tiniest movement, and that's right at 22 and a half. And that's right on, that's right on 22 and a half. Now you can see how amazing just a teeny little bit of movement help works. Now you're going to, you might be thinking, well, what's the difference? It's going to, you're going to be messing with it and it's going to get out of shape. Well, be careful with it <laughs> and don't be heavy handed with it and it won't get out of shape. And then what I'll do right now is I can put these, this will hold it actually. And what this will do is this will hold its shape. Very, uh, so good. So it's less likely to do whatever. All right, so let's move along. And start cutting the fabric and then staples I like to if I find a staple put them up we don't want to step on them that would be not good all right so let's talk about let's see if you guys have any questions and uh, real quick um, go ahead and write them down or comments Sterlo, yeah, awesome. William, love you guys. Love you guys. Awesome. Awesome. And Sterlo, I just met. How, how's it going? Disto is my man. I love him. He's awesome. You're awesome. We're going to make amazing things happen in Macon. I'm going to hook you up with this big canvas board right here. And we're going to cut this the right way after it gets back from the wood shop. I've got four of these bad boys. We're going to make it happen. I'm going to put some canvas on here. I'm going to put 10 layers of gesso. And we're going to make the most amazing thing ever. Uh, and it's going to be hanging somewhere, somewhere in Macon. And who knows? It'll be somewhere, <laughs> I guarantee you. And we'll be hanging it from these bad boys right here. It's gonna be a good time. We're excited. And look, we, we don't wanna, we don't wanna, uh, we wanna respect everybody. We wanna definitely respect anything that you guys are doing. You know, if I would love to be a part of it, um, if if it if it if all possible i would like to contribute you know i don't want to destroy and i'm not here to compete so i'm not in competition you know i'm not trying to outdo anything or be you know you know take away you know anything that you're doing i want to support you i want to in fact what we do we support artists everywhere um, I work with so many artists right now that um, feel like they just really don't have a voice. And artists are a very unique uh, type of person and a very unique soul, a unique spirit. 
and the artist is a is is something is what I believe is like a doctor. Um, we have the same tools to heal, you know, but maybe not the body, but we heal the the soul and the spirit, and that's our goal, and that's the goal of mine as well as every other artist that I know that feels the same way, and I know a lot of us do, uh, because I talk to him, and we we and I talk to him. a lot of the artists in Italy are that way, and what they do is they figured out that look. I realize, you realize, and we all, <laughs> we all realize that everybody is not going to, um, not going to uh, pay for art. I mean, it's a government thing, and it always has been. So what we want to do is educate and organize. It says artists all over the world have been so disorganized fighting amongst themselves, trying to outdo each other. And it ain't never going to happen. And it's been my experience. And I know that we aren't all that way. And, but some, some of us, we've just been trained that way. You know, we've been taught that we need to get it first. We need to do it better. And in, in, in art, it's not that way. You don't have to do it better. You just got to do it your way. All right. That's what's so beautiful about the art community because you can do it your way. Hello. You, you, that's what you do. That's what you have to do. So at, I may have a little bit much, but that's okay. Um, what'll happen is I like to have, I like to have enough to, to pull on. So... Oh, I'm gonna have a lot, lot hanging over. Hmm, you know, let's say. I don't, I don't know. Let's go, I'm gonna just go with this right about here. All right, so what I wanna do is really look at it. Oh man, let's see. I cut this thing. Wow. Yeah, I'm all over the place. I'm glad I cut it that long. Look. Whoa. Let's see. Let's see if what I can do to fix all that. If you rip it, you can kind of see where the lines, where the line is. Right there. All right, so I would start with the, kind of the, start with the big side. And uh, are the longest side. Look at that again. Wow. All right, what I'm doing, I'm, what I want to do is line up the threads with the board, stretchy boards, so that it's even. You know what I mean? So that the... Oh my God. So that it's even, I guess, like straight across. Yeah. That's about like that. And look at that. So even though it's straight across, you know what? Oh man. That's what happened. I want it to be straight. Like that. So I guess what we'll do, I'm glad. I didn't realize where, how it was. But we'll do it that way. All right, so we'll go ahead and start with a staple on this side and then stretch it to the other, other side so that it looks like this. Bring it around. And 
just staple that in there. And I staple it um, because I want to I wanna take it off. I can take it off if I want to um, take it off, st stretch it. Then I'll, you can use these. This will stretch it out. You don't have to take the canvas off and re-stretch it. But you can, if you don't have these, if you don't have these, you can take it off the canvas and re-stretch it. And that's what normally you would do. So right here, I, and then while I'm doing it, I can look at the material and I can see, I can see where it's all at this point i got one in the middle oh guess what i got it this happens too i got it upside down oh man i love that just, that is my life you guys i do i make mistakes all right so we'll fix it no problem don't give me a hard time i'm gonna fix it it's okay look it's okay to make mistakes Mistakes are stepping stones. In this case, I didn't have to, but this, we all make mistakes and it's okay. We can move on. Now I want to line it back up, make sure I line it up with my threads. Wow, let's see how far off we got. But there we go. Now I'm gonna get, oh. Put this now what's happening well we got more to overcome jam stapler that doesn't happen too often okay and this would be good and this happens all the time These are a quarter inch T50, if you are interested, if you use these. Oh yeah. I don't know what's happened there. Let's see. What? No way. Oh, okay. There we go. I knew I put one in there. It just jammed right away. It was like getting it ready. Like getting it ready. Like you got everything ready and forgot to put gas in the tank. But this in this case, I put gas in the tank. But it wasn't hooked up. All right, now, now I'm on the front side, which the reason I'll put it on this side is because it's got the round bump right here, which I'll show you on this the other one. Yeah, right, there we go. Now we'll continue on. Stretch the top. Stretch the top. Just stretch, stretch. I mean, you don't want to kill it. Oh no, here we go again. There we go. But you want to have it, ooh. I wonder if I have them backwards. Oh no, I don't think so. Mm. Well, we might be getting another stapler. Which is not good because I love this one. This one is very nice. And it has good leverage and everything. So I'm gonna stretch it. I would say what I'm doing, I just stretch it just a little bit past, uh, just a little bit past what I think is too much, not, not past, not past what's too much, but like right there where I can't pull it anymore. So there I got to hold it, pull it around and boom. Thank goodness that staple came out that time. All right, now what, I've got this situation. We've got the two corner, two staples here, two staples here. 
and we'll, we'll just can start going around it until we get to the corners right there and the reason I'm going from the center I want to go from the center out is so that I can kind of kind of pull it this way as I'm going and this way as we get toward and stretching <laughs> and I'm gonna what I'll do I'll go ahead and put them in like it's gonna be permanent that's because it may be this one may end up being a masterpiece of epic proportions but we all we all want that and then do the other side and then after after this we'll put the i'll start putting i'll put the gesso on there i'll put three four five coats of it and sand it, it gets nice and smooth and these are for different different styles i mean if i have if you know what you want and you say, you know, well, hey Whitney, you know, I want the Belgian linen. I want the good stuff. I want the best quality. I want vivid. I want vivid colors that when I look at it, I feel like I'm outside. I want to see the colors in your painting that I can see when I walk outside. That's that was been my goal as an artist <clears throat> a lot of us a lot of times you would want to the goal would be to make something look like something so i want this art i'm going to do this art and i want it to look like a flower so i'm going to paint it and it's going to look like a flower and that's a that's a style of art that we do it's called it's called realism or realistic art. I love that kind of stuff. I did I did that for quite some time and it's just not as satisfying to me as doing more 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 personal art. So I'm gonna continue on this and I will be right back. Okay, so oh, okay. I guess swallowed the wrong way or something happened. Anyway, so it's live. Anything can happen. Um, we're excited about that, and that's what we like to do. Um, hopefully, the season will will get the season back. But from now on. For right now, we're just gonna we're gonna start we're gonna stay in the studio while we figure out how to navigate this crazy COVID that's going on. That you know, I'm sure, man. I feel for y'all. I just want to shout out too because I know a lot of y'all playing open houses, shows, exhibits, festivals. Man, you guys hang in there gonna get better gonna get better we'll be talking about this for years to come hey y'all remember 2020 <laughs> stop it no I don't want to remember I don't know I mean it's been a good year generally I wanna we wanna we want to look at the positive you know we want to constantly we want to look at what we can do you know what's what not what's wrong 
I mean, we can look at what's wrong all day long. But, uh, I, you know, I'm into solutions. Uh, that's what I'm about. I'm like, give me a solution. I want a solution. I'm a solution. I can feel. I can see it. You know, I've had experience. I know I've experienced it. I've been to a situation where I was about ready to, to um, just completely give up on adults. And then it was Clisby. Clisby Elementary School that saved my life at that point that I needed art the most. It was a Clisby, it was a magnet school. One of the first years it became a magnet school. And art was the main focus of the school. And because art was underappreciated and not taught in the schools at the time, uh, uh, had a lot to do with the, I think it was had to do with the night foundation or something night. Uh, anyway, uh, it, it, it was, it was incredible. And I felt so empowered. Um, and there's a lot of, a lot of times that adults have altruistic goals and they want to teach their children that it's okay to, to be who you want to be. And, you know, there's, there's those adults that said, Whitney, you, you can't be an artist because art, you, know, you just can't do it. You're... And then there's other people that say, you know, hey, follow your dreams. I'm like, yeah, uh, always, always done that. Always. Well, okay, not always. There's been, I guess I could say there has been times where I did give up. But what what does giving up it mean anyway? We're gonna do a gallery wrap on a corner, and I guess it's all in your mind. I mean, I I try to I say I give up, but I, I'm not giving up. There's no way, can't do it. It's impossible. I mean, I might as well might as well say you know stop breathing. I, stop what 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 <laughs> stop breathing? What are you trying to do? All right, so what you want to do here, a gallery wrap is a pinch and a pull. So we're going to go pinch it and pull it. So right here, uh, I got a lot on here, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I would, I might trim this later, but I might, again, I might just, I might have something on it and might be amazing. Then I'll trim it later. There's no, just because I'm not going to do it now does not mean that I might do it later. And that goes for just about anything in life, really. Because let's say today, I don't feel like doing that. And then, you know, I don't have to, then I won't. Until, you know, that, that day when I want to do it. Because, and here's why because I'm not going to do a good job if I don't want to do it. Not going to be a good job. I'm going to do it, but it's not going to be a good job. Now right here, I want to do a good job because this is important to me. This is my Ferrari. You know, this is my Lamborghini. This is my uh this is my vehicle. This is my car. Canvases are very important to uh, artists because that's what we paint on. That is what we paint on. And look at that. That is a perfect gallery wrap. You guys look at this. Look at this. This is beautiful. That's that's how you do it. That is, look at that, boom. It's a drum, whoo, love it. And it's so amazing. I would say, hey, why not? This is like being an auto mechanic. I'm working on my car. So this is my vehicle. 
I would say, I would say uh, auto mechanics would have to know a heck of a lot more about engines, have a lot more parts. But it's the same attitude. If you have the same attitude that, hey, I just want to be good at what I do. I want to provide super good quality. I want to say, you know, hey, if you want one of these, if you want one of these, I'm going to gesso it because when you paint on the cloth, it will deteriorate. So you need something between the material, the cotton, and this is 100% cotton. You need something between the cotton and the paint. If you're oil paint, you can do oil just so there is some paint that you can get, I think at Lowe's or any kind of hardware store, that would be, uh, uh, what it would be, latex, uh, chalky. You would, you'd have to uh, see right now, but that would be a good, something good uh, gesso to use. Since gesso is very expensive, uh, you can make it yourself. Uh, that's an option or have have it all pre-made pre-done there's all kinds of things you can do and what I want to do I would like to say look if you are serious about your art you know and you want to have something fine 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 quality to work with you know you can and you like canvas and you love the the feel of it and the texture of it and you like working with the the weave patterns and and um and work with the the weave pattern to be able to express the structures the forms with your paint then you can do that because sometimes you want what's, I don't know why people call it cheap, but they do and it's cheap and it's considered cheap, but the Walmart uh, canvases are amazing. Uh, they're wonderful and they're actually, they're not cheap at all. And they're, they're made the same way that these frames, these antique frames were made. It was probably either 100 or 200 years old. Um, a lot of things are is right up here, right up in here. So this is where you're going to get a lot of your information. Is you're going to get it from your brain. Look at this. So I'm going to have to do some uh, some very interesting folds here oh yeah that's perfect perfect and i have not done this in a while so wow i'm excited about this okay all right so we're just about done i'm not gonna have a canvas um all set and ready to go uh and i have no idea what time it is or how long, I can tell you this, I feel like I have probably been here, I would say maybe 30, 35 minutes we've been talking. So anyway, what I'll do is I'll answer, if you have any questions, who would have any questions? <laughs> if you have any questions or comments, I'll, I'll respond to you at, in the comments after the, after the show. If you, after this, so after the video, if you're interested and you want to do this, we're not doing it right now. Um, the pandemic's crazy. It's got everybody weirded out. If, well, but if you're interested in doing this, something like this, I'd be totally interested in working with you in any way that you want to. But I like working with people that want to improve and grow. And they want to be, uh, they want to inspire. And I know not every artist wants to do that. And that's okay. You know, we respect that. I think it's important to respect e e all of that. 
because that that is just as important as anything anybody can do. You know, it's all about saving lives at that point. You know, and it, what we got here is a some wood. Some wood has been damaged there, so I might have to leave that one. I'm gonna have. I might have to take it back apart. Well, we'll do this. I'll do this with the next one. With the next, the next outside, and who knows? It may be, it may be a while before we get to go outside again. So we may be in the, we may be in the studio for a while. So there you go. Um, this is uh, gallery wrapped. These corners are amazing. This, that's how you do it. Pinch it and pull it. Um, you can look it up. Uh, more information. There's just about every artist will know how to do this. But it's just having fun and actually doing it and having a plan and saying, you know, hey, I want to I wanna do this. I think it's great. I'm going to make mine a little bit different. Uh, you can do that if you have canvas pullers, but you want to get that thump. Wow, that's beautiful. Hear that? Boom. Love it. So there you go. This is canvas. Uh, the way I see it, the way I look at it, there's so many more things that we can cover and go over. Uh, I can talk about it all day long if you want to. And But for the sake of the video, we're going to keep it to one hour or what maybe feels like one hour. And again, also, if you're interested, and I'll show you this canvas when I get this one done, uh, I'll show you this canvas, and this is going to be exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this project right here. It's going to be amazing. And uh, this, this will be coming back from the wood shop, and it will be, it will be assembled the same way that this is. Okay. So, like I said, that's it for the day. I'm Whitney, and uh, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. And if you did not find this boring, I want to be your friend. <clears throat> oh, yeah.